Hello everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own token on WAX. Full disclosure, I've created an app that does this for you automatically so you don't have to learn how to program or compile smart contracts on your own. The app's not completely free, it's like 12 bucks, and it gets you access to create as many tokens as you want for the rest of your life. But I just figured I would make it clear that this is a product that I made. If that sounds good to you and you want to learn how to create your own token with just a few clicks, let's jump into the tutorial right now. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the token generator page on my website, which is at mikedecrypto.com slash wax slash launchpad. I'll link that in the description below and in the comments so you can just copy and paste it. Once you're on the page, you'll see that you have to log in with your wallet. This is Anchor Wallet only. We don't accept a Wax Cloud Wallet, and that's because, well, first of all, I don't even know if Wax Cloud Wallet supports deploying smart contracts to your account, but even if they do, you don't own the private keys to your Wax Cloud Wallet, so you don't want to be deploying contracts to an account that you don't even own. So I highly recommend and basically require that you download Anchor Wallet if you want to use this tool. Once you download Anchor Wallet, you can just click on the Add Account button right here to log in, and it'll prompt you to open up Anchor. You can select your account. And then once you're logged in, you'll see that you have three different options for whitelisting or the payment. The first one is 250 wax, which is like 25, maybe 30 bucks. Or you can pay 25,000 Wojak tokens, which is the token for my NFT project. Or you can just burn one of those NFTs from that same project. And that NFT costs like 12 bucks, 109 wax. So by burning an NFT, you basically save 50% on the price. Once you decide which option you want to go with, just click on the corresponding button here. So if you wanted to pay with WAX, you just click on the pay with WAX button and it'll prompt you to sign a transaction and transfer 250 WAX to the contract. Or if you want to burn an NFT, just click choose an NFT to burn and you'll just need to enter the asset ID of whatever NFT you want to burn. And then you click burn asset now. It'll ask you to sign a transaction and then you'll be whitelisted. So the next step is to deploy the token contract to your account. You only need to deploy this contract one time. And after you have it deployed, you can create as many tokens as you want. It does require about 400 WAX worth of RAM to deploy the contract. That's not a fee that I collect. That goes to the WAX blockchain. And that's going to happen regardless of how you deploy your contract, whether you use my service or not. You're going to have to pay that fee. So just keep that in mind and make sure you have enough RAM in your account. This is also important right here. Anchor Wallet blocks these transactions by default. All right, anytime you deploy a contract to your account, Anchor Wallet is just automatically gonna block it. It's for your own safety because if you don't know what you're deploying to your account, for all you know, there could be a backdoor in some contract and they steal all your money. So Anchor Wallet prevents you from doing that. You're not gonna be able to deploy this contract unless you go into Anchor Wallet and enable the setting, allow dangerous transactions. You can do that by just opening up Anchor. By just opening up Anchor. And if you go to the settings at the top right and scroll down to advanced options, there's an option to allow dangerous transactions. If you don't enable that setting, you will not be able to deploy any contract to your account. So make sure you do that if you want to launch a token contract. Once you do that, you just need to click this button to confirm that you are whitelisted. I'm whitelisted, so it worked, and now I can deploy the contract if I want to, so I just click the button. It'll ask me to sign a transaction. I'm not gonna sign it because I have a different contract already deployed to this account. And then as soon as you deploy the contract, you can start creating tokens. So the contract itself is not actually creating a token. When you launch the contract, just for those of you who don't know, all you're doing is basically launching a contract to your account and that contract enables you to create tokens if you want to. So deploying the contract is not actually creating a token. It's just letting you create tokens if you want to. So after you have the contract deployed, you can just go to this create the token field here, enter the name of your token. So say so you wanted to call it wax, enter the maximum supply, whole numbers only, and then enter the decimal places that you want your token to have. So if you wanted it to have, let's say, eight decimal places, just put eight. Click Confirm Details. It's going to ask you to type yes just to confirm that these are the correct details right here for the token that you want to create. Click OK. And then now you'll see a Create Token button. 
If you click on that, it's going to ask you to sign a transaction. You can see the info right here. Issuer is me. Maximum supply is the amount that I just entered in the form. And I can click confirm. And I'm not going to because I'm not deploying a token here. But once you do that, your token is now created. Now you'll need to actually issue some tokens. The only account that you can issue them to is the account that you created the token with. So that would be yourself. So after your token's created, you have to issue some tokens to yourself. So you just type in the symbol of the token. So in this example, it would be wax again. Say you wanted to issue yourself, I don't know, 10,000 wax tokens, and you have to enter the decimal places again. This is just the way wax works. You have to make sure you put the correct decimal places or else it's not going to recognize the token. So if we just use eight in our example, you put eight here again. And once again, it's gonna ask you to confirm the details. Type in yes. I do confirm that these are the right details. And then click OK. And then now you'll see this issue tokens button. Click on that. It's gonna ask you to confirm a transaction to issue the tokens. Once you do that, your token's good to go. You have tokens in your account now, and you can come back to this form and issue tokens all the time if you want to, until you reach the max supply, of course. And that's basically it. I also have a WAX token tracker on my website where I track the prices and trading volume of different WAX tokens and all that stuff. So if you want to, you can also fill out a request form and just tell me that you want your token listed on my WAX price tracker and I'll do that for you. And yeah, that's basically it. So if you have any other questions or if there's anything I didn't explain properly, drop a comment below or join my Telegram or Discord, which are linked in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.